Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plug and Boutique and I've got another one of our monthly giveaways for you. This month, for the entire month of June, with any purchase from Plug and Boutique, we're gonna be giving away the Entropy EQ Plus from Sonable. In this video, I'm just gonna briefly talk about what it is and how to use it. And I'm gonna show you a couple of examples, but for full details, go ahead and click the link in the video description to find out more. This is the EQ on the screen here. It's got a really unique approach to EQing. And I think the best thing to do here would probably be just to go ahead and drop a new version onto this track. What I have here is just an acoustic guitar. Right out of the gate, let's go ahead and just make this bigger by click dragging and dropping. Very nice. Up here at the top, we have an eight band, high quality linear phase EQ. So it works just like any other EQ in that sense. However, there is the entropy feature and there's an overall entropy feature down here at the bottom. And then the four bands here in the middle can be entropy specific if you turn it on by clicking this sort of atom icon right here. You can see when I'm hovering over it, it says entropy filter. Let's come back to that in a second. And what I'm gonna do is just boost up the strength here. This is the strength of the entropy effect. And I'm going to go ahead and just move it into the positive realm and into the negative realm, just so you can hear before I explain what it's doing. When I'm in the positive values, it's boosting and or isolating the transients or atonal frequencies in the mix. And this works with just your single channel like I have it here on a guitar. It could also work on your mix as well. In the negative realm, we're actually boosting the harmonic frequencies and reducing those atonal or transient frequencies. So this plugin is really great for sounds like an acoustic guitar where you've got kind of the actual strumming of the string and then you have the vibrations of those strings. So as I said, this is kind of the overall entropy amount. So let's say I want this guitar to have a little bit more of a body. What I would do is turn the entropy towards the negative realm. So it's right there, it's already got a more pronounced body. Let's say I still really like the sound of the strumming on the transient bits of the actual pick hitting the strings. What I can do now is turn on, say, this frequency band and then boost that part of the entropy curve near where that is happening in the mix. So let me go ahead and flatten that. Flatten, by the way, will reset any point to the zero crossing here or is the zero decibel level, while reset will actually move it back to the frequency starting position that it has by default inside of the plugin. So I'm gonna come back in once again and let's just move it up while the audio is playing. There we go. So I've got that bigger body now and I still have preserved and actually amplified the strumming of the guitar. Now, if I wanna just kind of preserve it, I might do something like this, where that entropy curve is just crossing that zero point there and that way I'm not getting any actual boosting. But let's really transform the sound and bring it up. Now I can control the Q value with my mouse wheel here if I wanna make it a little bit sharper. And also there is the blind mode as well where you can get rid of the full spectrum there and just use the dials to input things. This is a really great way of just relying on your ears to get a great sound. It's a nice feature to have in there and it's available at a click of a button. So now that I have that, I can actually further sculpt the sound, like removing the muddiness by using one of the linear phase filters just in its normal state. So 
So here I've really transformed the overall output or the overall feel of that guitar by using that entropy uh, just sort of in the global capacity and then boosting just that transient bit up there near the top where I don't really need to boost the body of those higher frequencies. I'm just trying to get that transient to stand out inside of the mix of the audio of the guitar itself. And, you know, that's just kind of scraping the iceberg of what this EQ is capable of. So it's a little bit of an EQ, it's a little bit of a transient shaper, and it's a lot of both of those things combined. And it gives you a new approach to crafting the sound and getting what you're looking for out of whatever audio you're feeding into it. As I said, works really really well on mixes, mix buses, your master channel, anything like an acoustic guitar or especially drums, any sort of audio that has a mix of transient atonal information and a harmonic body, which you want to adjust the balance of. Having the ability to do that on a per channel, per filter basis is a really, really big plus. Anyway, as I said, it's free with any purchase from Plugin Boutique for the entire month of June. Click the link in the video description to check out more. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.